iOS 10.3 versus iOS 10.3.2 iPhone SE coming up right now. Let's go. Guys, Nick here from Everything Tech, and welcome to iOS 10.3 Public Beta 7 versus iOS 10.3.2 Beta 1 for your iPhone SE. Now, 10.3.2 does point to a much smaller update rather than the larger update in iOS 10.3, but let's just see how it performs here on Geekbench, and then we're going to go ahead and update it and see how it performs on iOS 10.3 Geekbench. So you can see iPhone SE, Apple A9, 1.8 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM. Let's hit CPU. Let's run that benchmark. And let's just see what the score is here on 10.3.2. And now we're going to go ahead and update to 10.3.2 and see what the score is there. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and run this CPU benchmark here on Geekbench. And when I get into iOS 10.3.2 after this, I will go ahead and run the benchmark again, and we will see the differing scores between 10.3 and 10.3.2 when anything has changed here for your Apple iPhone SE. So wait just a second, I'll be right back. So the results on iOS 10.3 public beta 7 is 2503 and a multi-core score of 4233 here for the iPhone SE. Now let's go ahead and update into the newer 10.3.2. All right guys, so now that we know our scores for the previous Geekbench, let's go ahead and update into iOS 10.3.2 public beta 1. We're going to hit install right here and let it go through the process. And you can see it does say agree to the terms and conditions. And I'll be back once we're in 10.3.2. Okay, so you can see that I have now been updated to iOS 10.3.2 for my Apple iPhone SE. And if I press home to open and I go into the settings menu and I go into general and I go into about, you can see that I am now on 10.3.2, 14F. 5065B. So let's go ahead and do that Geekbench score once again and see what happens here. So let's go ahead and run that CPU, run benchmark, and let's see if the score changes at all here on 10.3.2. Now in terms of what's new, Apple didn't release any notes on what's new, so there's not much new here. There's just probably a few bug fixes. I know there was some Apple CarPlay and CarKit fixes, as well as some Siri kit fixes here in 10.3.2, but this is a very, very minor update here. And if you want to be more secure on iOS, I would definitely recommend you don't do this update. Wait until more we get further into the betas because this is, might make the device a little bit less stable than 10.3 was. But overall, it looks pretty smooth here. But I still recommend just staying on iOS 10.3, the official, for now. But I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera now and I'm going to come back when this Geekbench is done running here. So it does look like we got a 2510 here on the single core for iPhone SE and a 4213 on multi-core. So an improvement in the single core but a decrease in the multi-core score here for our iPhone SE here. But in terms of the general fluidity, it feels pretty smooth. But the reason why I don't recommend you go do this update right now is because of security reasons. These lower beta, so public beta 1, 2, until we get higher up in the beta, security patches and vulnerabilities are more likely here for your iOS device. So if I was you, I would stay on iOS 10.3 official, but I just wanted to show you if you do want to be risky and be courageous and go into the public beta version here on 10.3.2, it does run okay. And you're probably still going to be able to get through day to day with no issues here for SE, but still I would advise against it. Have you guys updated to iOS 10.3.2 for your iPhone SE or not? Comment that down below in the comments section section of this video and if there's any other videos you would like to see on ios 10.3 or 10.3.2 beta 1 let us know down below in the comment section of this video as well this was nick here up to master your technology i will catch you all in the next one be sure to be well and peace